The project started um, as a youth project initially um, 10 years ago from the local church hall. Um, it started um, because the, was the, it became apparent that there was um, a lack of youth provision in the area. Um, so the local um, Gaelic Head and Port and Cable Trust and the local minister came together um, to start the youth project to offer that provision um, to the young people. Okay, so what does the project offer people in the area? Um, the youth project offers, um, obviously we are um, open to the whole of Helen's Written Lomond for young people, um, which at the moment we have 200 members um, in the youth project, with 30 of them as being junior volunteers. Um, for the community side of um, the project, we have um, a number of users coming in, using the centre, using the community elements, using the gym, cafe, etc., all the clubs and events that we have on. Um, we just provide a service that isn't there and wasn't there. Um, when we first started. So we have the community um, and the youth services now that weren't available um, two years ago. With the expansion of the project coming from the youth project, the expansion from the, to the community element that we now run, um, we felt that the structure of the organisation had to change um, because it has come and we've grown so much from a youth project to a community project now. Um, so we wanted to change the structure to reflect the community as well as the youth work that we do. Um, so it, the decision was made to restructure um, Route 81 Youth Project as the charity of the organisation to Project 81 um, and is now known as the Youth and Community Enterprise. Um, that's basically just come about and now the proje Project 81 is the umbrella organisation for the youth services and the community services that we hold within what we do um, and we're now basically one project that offer the community and youth work that we do. Okay, so what difference does um, Centre 81, Project 81 mean for the community? Um, I think the difference is that we now, we are the hub of the community that we have, the community now have a space that they can come and use, um, that they can bring their children to, that the young people can grow in, um, the young people feed through the youth project, they feed through the, the community events that we run within the centre. Um, the senior citizens have now got a space to come, um, they have their lunch club, they have their senior special fitness classes that go on. Um, so we basically offer, we offer such a wide range of community facilities as well as youth facilities, health and fitness facilities now that wasn't there um, and it is there now. Um, and as I said, it's a hub for the community to come and meet and get to know people. Um, it's great when like new people move into the village and um, they don't know anyone, this is the kind of point of call that they come to the centre to find out what's going on. They maybe have children that can join the youth project, they come to events, they come to mums and tots group, they get to meet other people within the village and other families and other um, children, young people. Um, so it's great that we are that first point of call now and it is very much the centre and the hub of the community. Okay, so it has been going on for 10 years now, so what are you hoping to achieve in the future? Um, our biggest achievement um, is obviously today um, is how much we've progressed and how much we've got the community and how many young people we now feed through the, the mentoring and the support and the training that we offer to our volunteers and to the young people within the project. And I think our future goals is to just keep progressing with that, making it stronger and reaching out to as many people as what we can and making it open to everyone and trying to touch as many lives within the community that we can. Um, our biggest goal is um, obviously to, to get, hopefully one day, become self-sustainable. Um, at the moment, we obviously rely on a lot of um, funding for salary costs, etc. Um, so our, our biggest goal is to become self-sustainable so that we can offer free youth provision and that we can offer community events and community activities and that are going to be sustainable um, to be able to do that.
Thank you.